Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to another episode of 3 Minute Tuesday. Today we're going to be talking about parking, but before we start the episode, as always, make sure you follow me on Instagram at Ignition2YT, and of course, I'm on Facebook at Ignition2. Three minutes on the timer. Let's get this set up for three minutes, and my camera's going to die, so hopefully we get this done before the camera dies. Three minutes starting now. Um, let's talk about parking because I think there's a lot of misconceptions about what you can and can't do and what makes you look like a jerk and what doesn't make you look like a jerk. Now, uh, if you're like me, you like to park as far away from other people as you can in certain parking lots because uh, careless people with door dings, people don't really know how to park and they'll park into you, or people just generally hit your car. Now, the other day, uh, I came outside to find my car had been rubbed along on the passenger side right up front there uh, I think it was like a dog or something I don't know but there's a pretty good scratch in the vinyl thankfully the car's vinyl not painted so it's not the end of the world um, and uh, I was parked pretty safely I was parked away from everything else uh, on the side of a side road but you know it happened um, the classic tunnel at least we're not stuck in here today um, but then what happened later on is I came out to my car after eating lunch at Panera Bread and there was a Marshalls across the parking lot. A cart from someone who had shopped at Marshalls had flown across the parking lot, it was a little bit of a windy day, and come and rested against the side of my car. So there's two more holes in the vinyl over there. Now that made me think of, when is it okay to park like a total jerk and just park in like a spot that doesn't exist or double park across spaces? And the answer is still virtually never. Even with this happening to my car, um, I don't feel like it's okay just to make your own spot, you know, park uh, in the roadway basically in the far end of the parking lot kind of deal. I don't think that's necessary. What you can do to prevent this kind of stuff and what I generally do to prevent this kind of stuff is park as far away from the people as you can. Uh, the less people that are around your car, the better. Now there's always going to be that one person that comes up and slides in next to your car because that's just how people are. But. Um, by parking far away, you minimize the careless shopper who just wants to rush in and get there as fast as possible coming up next to your car. Now, I would argue that the only place to park like a total jerk is at the grocery store and if the parking lot's empty. Because at the grocery store, people come out with their shopping carts and they let go of them to take the groceries out and the shopping carts roll away. Or they have their arms full of groceries and they swing their door open without caring. So, I think at the grocery store, if you're far enough from where... If, Wow, I can't cut this, so that's my mistake. I usually would cut that out of videos. If you're far enough away from everybody else, what you can do is kind of sneak over and uh, uh, either park in a corner spot a little bit further away from the curb so that no one can park next to you, or you park second spot from the curb closer to the curb spot, and that makes you look like less of a jerk because people don't really realize that the curb spot is taken. Um, and that also prevents people who hopefully park in the lines from hitting your car. <laughs> I can't cut that out either, that's awful. Anyway, well that's three minutes, that was quick. Uh, I have more to say on this topic, but I suppose my time is up. So let me know your thoughts about parking. When is it okay to double park? When is it not okay to double park? Never okay to park in a handicap spot, don't do that. You look like a jerk and a tool. Let me know your thoughts about parking. Where do you park your car? How do you keep your car safe from door dings? In the comments below. And I will catch you guys Thursday for a new video and Tuesday for another 3 Minute Tuesday.